DJI just announced the Mavic Air 2, its new generation of the popular consumer drone. I took it to the sky and had a first look. Check it out. It's the middle of a global health crisis, with people all over the world locked at home. And what do we have here as a distraction? It's called Mavic Air 2, the latest iteration of drones from global market leader DJI. The original Mavic Air was launched over two years ago, and at the time I flew it in Monaco at DJI's launch event. And it offered video images with less compression than the more expensive Mavic Pro Mark I in a much cheaper package. Fast forward two years and here we have the Mavic Air 2, which is the first Mavic drone able to shoot up to 4K in 60 frames per second at 120 megabits per second. That is better than the twice as expensive Mavic 2 Pro, which maxes out at 4K at 30 frames per second and 100 megabits per second. In fact, the Air 2 looks like a shrunken Mavic 2 Pro. DJI have clearly taken the design from the Pro and compressed it into the Mavic Air 2. I took the Mavic Air 2 to the skies for its maiden voyage. And boy, those images in 4K and 60p look amazing indeed. Faster movements like pants are of course easier to execute with this higher frame rate, compared to for example 25 or 30p. D-Log is also available for better color grading. The drone can also shoot HDR video at up to 4K 60p. Please note that because there are no ND filters for the new camera designs just yet, I had to use higher shutter speeds to get perfect exposure in manual mode. But that results in more jittery images. Having said that, just like the Mavic Mini, the Mavic Air 2 does a great job in auto exposure mode, where you don't actually see the shutter speed adjusting in changing lighting situations. So it can be used on occasion if no ND is available. Compared to the original Mavic Air, the CMOS sensor is now bigger at a half an inch and it can shoot not only 12 megapixel photos but also 48 megapixel RAW photos in DNG format by using Quad Bayer technology. The resulting images are impressive. One of the major downsides of the original Mavic Air was the image transmission technology between the drone and the controller. They used extended Wi-Fi which is not nearly as good in reach and responsiveness as DJI's proper image transmission technology called OcuSync. Now the Mavic Air 2 luckily has OcuSync 2 and I can confirm it's now just as easy and responsive to maneuver as the Pro series drones. The reach is up to 10 kilometers, which you're not supposed to actually try because you have to keep line of sight of your drone at all times. The Mavic Air 2 also comes with a newly designed more ergonomic controller which mounts the phone on top, which I found much more comfortable to use than the older designs. Now I'm not actually sure why it's important to have in a drone, but the Mavic Air 2 also can shoot up to 240 frames per second super slow motion in 1080p resolution. This is definitely something to explore creatively a little bit more, but we were limited in what we were able to do due to the strong winds in our testing day. But of course, in total, the images in 1080p look a little bit softer. Hyperlapse 8K is a new mode that allows for pre-programmed moving time lapses, which essentially stitches a number of photos into a video. Now DJI claims a maximum flight time of 34 minutes with one of those batteries, which I wasn't able to verify yet because of the windy situation I was flying in, where batteries of course drain much faster. But in any case, the flight time is more than sufficient. I still recommend buying the Fly More package of the drone, which gives you three batteries in total. The Mavic Air 2 also features improved autonomous flying modes that allow for better obstacle avoidance and object tracking. We will try this in a separate video later on. This was also not possible to test yet due to current regulations under COVID-19 and the windy situation. For fun and hobby drone pilots, the Mavic Air 2 of course also has the quick shot functions which we know from their other drones in the Mavic series. Plus a new mode called Smart Photo, which automatically recognizes the kind of scene you're in to automatically adjust the settings to the circumstances. So for example, it recognizes if you're flying over grass or snow. From this very first look at the newly announced Mavic Air 2, I can say that this really looks like a worthy smaller brother to the Mavic 2 Pro and also the Mavic 2 Zoom. 
At about $800, this costs half of what the Pro costs, and it gives you video quality that is in some ways even better despite the smaller sensor because of the 4K 60p. And the biggest problem of the original Mavic Air, the Wi-Fi transmission, has been resolved by implementing a much more robust wireless transmission with OcuSync 2. DJI proves once again that they don't shy away from pushing innovation with every new drone, even if that means that this could somewhat cannibalize their existing drones like the Pro. I'm looking forward to testing the Mavic Air 2 a lot more, so stay tuned to this channel. And thanks for watching, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And we will have more content from the Mavic Air.